right, welcome back to Sports Wrap here on 8 News Now. Ron Futrell and I joined now by really generations of silver and black right here with Jay Schrader and, and Jermaine Illuminor. And I'll tell you what, guys, when you think about the Raiders, let me ask Jay and then, and then Jermaine, when you think of that franchise, that proud franchise, the silver and black, what comes to mind for you? Grit. Just grit. Um, it was funny because when I played for Al, it was, hey, look, you got to come play on Sundays, and we're going to do whatever we need to do to win the game. You got to figure out a way to win the game. And that's where Just Win Baby came from. It was, hey, doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter what you think. I remember he told me, he says, I brought you here to do one thing. You're going to throw the ball down the field 10 times. If you hit three of them and we score 21 points, our defense will hold them, we'll win every game. He said, I could go three for 10. It, it didn't matter to him. <laughs> now, times have changed, Jermaine. So let me ask you, when you wear that silver and black, when you think of the Raider Proud franchise, what comes to mind for you? You know, um, this was my second year here. But while I was on other teams, I always thought that the Raiders was just a tough, hard, physical team. And, you know, just going back from when Jay played and before that, you know, they've always just been that team that was going to do anything to win. Like he said, just win, baby, you know. Mm -hmm. And so when I came here and was able to put that, you know, that silver helmet on and that black jersey, to me it was putting on that helmet on and, you know, keeping up with what they did in the past and how they played, you know, like I said, being tough, being physical, you know, trying to dominate the guy in front of you, and I tried to take that personal this year. Okay, you need a quarterback for next season. I want to, both, both of your thoughts. Come on, Jermaine, fire away first. Who would you um, like to see? There's a, there's a few quarterbacks out there available. Jarrett did well uh, against the Niners, okay, yeah. against Kansas City. Mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts? Who do you see quarterback in next year? You know, it's a tough um, question to answer because to me, it doesn't matter who's back there. I'm going to give it everything I got. I'm going to protect them with my life. And so if it's Jarrett, then Jarrett's a hell of a player. I'm really excited to play with him. If it's, just not, if it's another person, then it doesn't matter. I'm going to go out there and do my job regardless. Another person. Let's that, see who's out there. That was a good play. That was a good play. Yeah, no, I, 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 I get that. He's still but on the contract. So Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Jay, how about you? Who would you like Aaron to see? Rodgers, Tom Brady. I mean, Let's, obviously, oh, yeah. the, the, the top guy out there, if you can go get him, is Aaron Rodgers. Okay? I mean, that's the top guy. You got no chance to get him. He's not leaving. Uh, no matter what they say in the paper, he's not leaving. The you don't pocket. think he's leaving Green Bay? I don't think he's leaving okay. Green Bay. This is just what he does every year and everything else. To me, I'd like to see him go after Jimmy Garoppolo and, and keep Jarrett uh, as the backup. Jimmy's a heck of a player, but you know he can't make it through the entire season. Jared can come, come in and get more years underneath the system. I think he understands what Josh wants him to do. I think that'd be a good combination. Both well, were in New England, certainly yeah. there with Josh McDaniels. So, yeah. so they, know the, they yeah. know the system and go from there. Yeah. And then maybe go on the uh, out and get a quarterback in the draft. Get with a young that guy that you pick. can, yeah, you know, you can got, train yeah. and mold and we'll see yeah. what happens. Hey, the NFL Pro Bowl's coming <laughs> to Las Vegas. That's going to be a lot of fun. That is next Sunday. Let's check out some now what they've done here. They got the seven on seven. What else mm -hmm. they got here, Ron? They got a, they got the uh, skills, the, the skills, different things. The skills Arthur's thing. Are the going to be in there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I just wonder, you yeah. got the Mannings yeah. are coming here. They're going to be, the, of course, Peyton's going to be the AFC coach, coach yeah. and Eli's going to be the NFC coach. Snoop and their dog's coming. Oh, well, I can't wait. Well, he's he's here all coming. the time. And who is, who is Pete Davidson? He's, he's an actor, he's, right? No, he's the okay. a bad comedian from Saturday Night Live that dates oh, oh, beautiful women. Wow. That's okay. who he is. And, he, and I don't know how he does. I don't know. Anyway, that's hey. that's another issue. Good for him. Snoop Dogg, there's no smoking in Allegiant Stadium, Stadium, from what I understand. So I'm just telling you now, in case you're you you wondering. Snoop, you think Snoop Dogg cares? No, I don't think he, he did it at the forum earlier this year for an award show, yes.